welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to flash the super rare os excalibur and which is of course android 12 and this is the first build for super rare os so now let's get it started and let's see how can we flash that android 12 rom and then i will make the full review uh, what's working and what's not and what's the problem and if it is usable then i will uh, surely recommend you guys so now let's get it started and before we move and let me show you i already provided the video octavi os if you guys haven't watched that yet then please uh, look forward and then find that video from the given link in description and you guys can see here the recovery uh, we can't access the internal storage it's due to android 12 uh, because our recovery is not updated yet for android 12 so wait for that then it will uh, be able to decrypt data from android 12 so now let's get started and first of all go to web section and select dynamic data cache system and vendor then just swipe to wipe when you are done now click on format data then type yes and then just wipe and format data completed now just do reboot to recovery so device booted into recovery again now navigate to the folder where you have stored your files that means rom files and gapps so here is mine let me show you so here is under 12 and superior OS. Select the superior OS and flash it. And let the room be flashed. So you guys can see superior OS already flashed. Now uh, get back and flash the magic uh, GFS file. Select the GFS file and let it be flashed. So you guys can see it's flashing. So you guys can see already flashed so now we need to do format that again uh, due to some uh, above, uh, due to avoid some errors so now uh, again get back just click and just go to format data and type yes and then okay and when you are done and if you guys are surprised why i am doing format data twice first of all uh, booting into recovery and then uh, i wiped every section and then format data then flash rom then uh, flash uh, g apps and then i am again did the format data to avoid the error so that device can easily boot into uh, rom so that's why so now click reboot system and don't flash magics right now and if you want to root then flash magics later after first boot so now click reboot system so you guys can see finally device is booting on super hero os android 12 so after completing setup i will uh, make another review of android 12 rom so stay connected you guys already watched the installation process now let me show you the review so first of all let me show you from the settings so from our section and let me enable the android version easter egg uh, so that we can easily enable the clocks so here it is just enable that like this so we are done Oh, is that so difficult <laughs> so we are done now easter egg enabled and from home screen let me show you the clock wizards so easter egg enabled you guys can see you guys can just drag and drop it and you guys can get the wallpaper colors like this this is the thing actually and just remove it like this and let me show you the clock wizards here so here it is we have five clock wizards 
and which is live crop widgets you guys can see and if you don't like uh, this quotes then you guys can change it and just follow my previous video uh, on Octavio OS I already showed you guys how can you guys install Android 12 clocks so many clocks are there so that's enough and now let me pick that one so you guys can see here are some clock faces you guys can choose any clock so I am choosing uh, this clock uh, you guys can see uh, which one this one so you guys can get that clock and so many customizations are there if you just press and hold and you guys will get a uh, just pen icon here that means edit edit button you guys can then choose any clock from here so this is how the uh, widgets work and let me show you from settings uh, some extras I'm really sorry for the noise on system setting we have the language and input and gesture and backup system update and developer option and if this can now then we have here the Google and digital well-being and which is working pretty much fine no issues on that and you guys can see gallery other settings and here is the dashboard you guys can see which application I used and I played Call of Duty but that was uh, not so great so I don't suggest you to play Call of Duty or PUBG mobile like games so don't play and here is the password and account so you guys can add here and security of course we have the only fingerprint and pattern or pin lock you guys can use no problem and fingerprint is really fast no issues on that and wallpaper and styles and you guys can change uh, it to dark theme themed icons you guys can enable this one if you enable this one then your themed icons will be changed but uh, on Octavio OS it was working but in that room it's not working so uh, this is kind of bug you guys can say so here is the wallpaper and styles and dark theme is working no problem and if you change wallpaper but you guys can't change uh, the accent colors or any toggle colors and you will get always dark in that notification panel you guys can't change it so that's why I prefer Octavio OS over that Super Hero OS so and uh, this is a Super Hero OS upgrade and alpha version so ne in next build we will get something fixed and gradually it will be updated like uh, it, it's now in alpha build then we will get beta and then we will get stable so wait for that and if you want to use then no problem you guys can use and you guys can change any grid options you guys already know about that and after that we have display settings and double tap working for uh, turning off display and turning on both working no issues on that and night light is working really cool and you have a schedule and you guys can change the intensity like this if you want to increase and decrease you guys can no problem and here is the animation it will gradually fade fade away so you guys can see and automate uh, auto rotary screen working no problem and other things are really uh, good in that room working fine no issues I didn't get and you guys already was the Octavio OS and everything just like the same no issues on that and I just can't add my name or picture here it's not working I don't know why but in future we will we'll get it work and let me show you now some basic things like some screenshots and you guys can see here that data transfer i transport data and it worked no problem so wfd is working no issues and now let me show you the battery backup the you guys can see the time 1105 and that was night and battery percentage was 80 percent and in the morning 1022 you guys can see clearly and battery percentage is still 80 percent and wi-fi was turned on and sim card was in uh, 4g mode so that's all and now let me show you cpu throttling you guys can see and uh, cpu throttling is 83 percent and which is uh, really good but not good as octavia os so that's the point and now let me show you geekbench score which i left so here is that so you guys can see 
single core two double six good no problem multiple score one zero eight nine nine which is a bit uh, less than the earlier versions like Octavio OS and other Android 11 ROMs so I'm not impressed but thanks to the builder they are trying to do something for us and we really appreciate their works and all the developers all the builders and really really thanks to them actually they are really hard working uh, to make the stable build and they are gradually uh, doing this everything so we are really really uh, honored to have them so i am really thankful and hope you guys will also and if you guys uh, want safety net pass then i will uh, provide another video if everything uh, goes well then i will make android 12 safety net issue fix video very soon uh, and let me show you that right now uh, safety net is not passed by default in that room and see basic integrity is uh, pass cts profile is not pass so that's problem and i already rooted if you root it or does not root it doesn't matter you will not pass the safety net you have to do it manually by rooting your device so wait for the next video i will try to solve that problem and i played call of duty and that was not uh, good enough experience and i didn't get enough experience so i don't uh, recommend you guys to play call of duty or uh, high graphics game like pubg mobile uh, bgm or whatever you say no problem and gps is working really really good faster and ram management is good other things are really good and if you want performance then performance wise it was really great performance wise like multitasking and switching apps uh, very quickly and if you want uh, multitasking uh, like uh, three four five applications you can do no problem and RAM management is good and let me show you and it's smoother so here is you guys can see the bar is smooth experience uh, you guys will get it on Octavio OS 2 so no problem on that so this is really cool and the most disappointing thing is uh, that to me here is the notification panel you guys can't change the notification uh, panel color and toggle colors nothing you guys can change uh, we already seen that on Octavio OS that uh, everything is uh, got changed when you change any wallpaper according to wallpaper your uh, notification panel will be changed but in that room it doesn't happen so that's why I don't like it and hope you guys understand the video and other things are okay everything is just working pretty much fine this is also a vanilla version and next video will be pixel experience so stay connected and uh, if you are new then don't forget to subscribe and set the bell icon to all and if you already subscribed then thank you so much